plaintiff, Brenda Simon, was a cocaine addict, but she's been sober for 33 years. And when she started dating the defendant, he had been off of drugs for two years. Brenda claims after living together for four years, they broke up, and she's suing him today for rent. Defendant Kevin Kendall says he was addicted to pain pills, and the first time he went to prison was after his own daughter turned him in. Kevin insists he's now off the pills and only drinks occasionally, and he denies owing Brenda for anything. Start with you. Well, this is my ex-fiance of six years. We met in December of 2015 online on a dating app. I thought he was a great guy. We we got along really well, and now come to find out he's a How user long after cheap. meeting him on the internet, did you meet him in person? A month. Okay, and what happened from there? We got along great. Uh, uh, what happened? Okay, you got along great seeing each other. You lived in the same town, obviously. No, we didn't. We lived. I lived three hours away from him. So we met frequently on weekends. Okay. And things went fine? Things went fine. Yeah. He ended up moving to Minnesota in July of 2016. I helped fund everything. I helped take care of everything. I supported him for many Why months. Why did you do that? Uh, he was fresh out of a halfway house and was in recovery. We were both in recovery and he was starting to get back on his feet. So it, he didn't really have a job yet or anything. He was just getting employed, just getting on his feet, just getting back into society. Okay, and you all entered into a serious relationship, obviously. Yes. All right, isn't that, one, uh, isn't that against the rules of NA? I've been in recovery 33 years. Mm. He's been in recovery two, was two years at that time. Okay. How long are you supposed to go without serious? Uh, there's no written, but they say six months to a year. All right. And how did things go? Let's go back to that. Well, he moved Type in. Relationship. We, I helped him find a job. He got a job. And the agreement was that I would help support him until he got on his feet. And so he lived there. He worked. We got along great. September of 2019, I asked him, I this thought... This how many years had you all lived together at that point? Three. Okay. And I figured he should be on his feet by now. You know, he's been working. And so I talked to him and we agreed on a $200 a month rent fee and half the utilities. Okay. Sir, you want to give me some background? Yeah. Um, first off, I think the only reason we're here is because Brenda thinks I cheated, mm -hmm. which that did not happen. Have um, you relapsed recently or something? I, I have yeah. went back to drinking. I'm still off the pills. Uh, well, little, that won't be long. No. Not supposed to drink at all, right? No mind-altering substances, right? Sure. Alcohol, weed, nothing. Yeah, right. Your recovery. Okay, yes. and he's talking about he's drinking. And you appeared, you come across today as um, someone who uses. She comes across totally clean. You come across as someone who is actively using hardcore narcotics. That's how you come across today. That's why I asked that question. And you said all you do is drink. Plaintiff Brenda Simon is suing her ex-fiance, who admits that his own daughter turned him into the police when he was addicted to pain pills. All right, let's move right along. Okay, with that being said, Your Honor, can I give you a little background? Sure. I mean, mm -hmm. um, in 2000, I was, I was prescribed Dilaudid for back pain. In 2011, my daughter turned me in in fear of my life. Uh, I was buying, selling, all that. So I got raided three times in one year. Third time, I went to prison. I went to prison. I I got out. How long had did you serve? I think I the first time's three and a half years. And the first time you went to prison? Yes, I was released, and I went right back the same same thing. I a month later, I turned myself in. I was on the run. I turned myself in. I was using again, Your Honor. You relapsed within a month after three and a half years. And went and turned yourself in because you own the run for that. I went back. I know, how much time did you get the second time? The second time I went back for a year and a half. Year and a half. Went, year and a half. All right. Yes. What about the third time? What was that for? 
Oh, I, I didn't go back third time. Okay. just I did not go back. All but right. But when I went back to the, the first time, mm -hmm. I got sober from the pills. And to this day, I'm still sober from the pills. Um, my daughter turned me in in fear of my life. I got that. You told me that already. And, so and, I don't know uh, if you're that clean. Uh, let's get to the rent, ma'am, you're suing about. Okay. Well, we decided in... Was it $200 a month, sir, in September of 19 that you agreed to for rent? Your Honor, she got, she picked me up in Iowa, brought <laughs> me to Minnesota. There was never an agreement that I knew of. You know, she said she would help me get back on you my You moved feet. in with her when? Uh, 2015. Okay, and you paid zero rent from 15 to 19, and you're talking about four years later, she agreed to help you get on your feet. No, she After you agreed moved in we... with this woman and lived off her for four entire years, you still hadn't gotten on your feet. Is that what you're telling us? I have, I had fines to pay, I got credit cards. Four and... years, sir. Yes, I know. I think you're dope again. That's what I think. Well, I, I'm not. Well, I believe dope. you are. You can't pay your bills. You look like you've been relapsing. You've admitted to relapsing. You've admitted to drinking alcohol, and it is causing your health to decline and your mind to be altered. And whether that's a relapse or whether that's full time alcoholic, but that's what I know a lot of drug addicts also do. Oh, I drink. Now you do everything. Who are you kidding? Oh, I just drink, Your <laughs> Honor. That's all. Maybe it's because I drink. I'm, I drink too many beers. Yeah, I know that's not good. No, you drink six to eight beers, then you're going to get you a blow or you're going to get you a pill. Think you can make a fool out of me? <laughs> right. Thank you. You know you can't. And then you ain't going to get nothing but a fool made out of you. <laughs> Coming here telling me that you're not getting high anymore. Yeah, and it took you four years and you still not on your feet because you paying credit cards. Go ahead, ma'am. Um, he uh, says you didn't require him to pay anything. He thinks perhaps he, he should live with you eternally without paying a dime. <laughs> I don't know where he gets that concept from, but you tell me uh, what he failed to pay uh, because you have $5,000 here. And so are you saying from September of 2019 to Today, he still hasn't paid you anything? Correct. He paid for some utilities. He did not pay any rent from September of 19 till present. And he said he wasn't required to. He, uh, he was not any, required to when we first, when right. he first moved but to Minnesota. But since 2019. Right. Do you have any evidence? Well, I have a ledger and then I have the... Any discussion where he acknowledges at any point. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I need. Where are we at on September that? September of that's 19, all I need. him what, and I what, discussed. What is that your... I don't have proof of, but what Come I do have now. proof of is the documentation that I wrote out his bill for each month. And that is on. And that's what you presented. Yes. You got to show me something that says at any point in his life, last four years in particular, did he agree? Yeah, you can do the numbers and yes. say, here's what you owe me. I don't owe you a dime. Where are you getting that from? Because we had an agreement. Oh, we had no agreement. You can take them papers and do whatever you want them to, but they didn't mean nothing to me. Page eight. There's a text message. There you here. go. That he owes me some money. There you go. <laughs> now we're going to see whether he a dope fiend again. Plaintiff Brenda Simon is suing her ex-fiance, who admits that his own daughter turned him into the police when he was addicted to pain pills. Hey, Brenda, I'm so very, very sorry that you sent me the way, and I'm just so very hurt. I slept a little bit, and no worry, I know it was a little bit. It ain't had nothing to do with her either. Uh, <laughs> you up all night doing your thing. Yeah, right. uh, no worry, I will not come around anymore. I have to worry about me. That sounds like somebody yep. who's having a destructive life, and I got to worry about me because I'm back on drugs. <laughs> At the bottom of my heart, you go ahead and do what you need to do. You are a very good person. Oh, yeah, this is <laughs> <laughs> this is the Dauphine game all day long. All of fame. <laughs> you remember how thousands, that's exactly how they come to me. That's exactly how they come to me. Almost word for word. You are a good person. You don't deserve the way I did you. <laughs> He definitely Dauphine again. <laughs> you can go ahead because you are a very good person. And if you want this mic to live there, then at least he pays. So it doesn't matter anymore. You move somebody, you move Mike in there? 
Mike was moving in before Kevin was asked to leave. You and Kevin were going together. Yes. And living together. Yes. And you moved Mike in under his nose. Yeah, that was normal. Normal for you? Yeah. That's how you do your men? <laughs> no, I don't how do my men. How much time you give them? <laughs> and then you move another one in under that nose. That's what you said. You said, that's what I do. <laughs> well, I have, I have a four bedroom house uh, and two of the bedrooms are frequently occupied by people coming fresh out of good, treatment. Good, And Mike was going through a situation and had been in recovery for many years well, and asked if he could move in. And that would have been, he asked in January. You didn't start dating Mike. No, no, oh, no, no, no. Okay, no, no. that's what I'm talking about. No, 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 no. Move the no, man no. out that you were dating, move no. new man in no. better under his nose. Okay, about me coming around you, where does it say he's going to pay you, though? I'm just beside myself. <laughs> and then, and if, it, if that makes you happy, that's all that I ask for, is that you be happy. I threw away seven years of sobriety. That was February 7th, sir. So you were a dope fiend by your own admission as of February 7th. That's why I have to embarrass people like that when they come in lying. That's when I call them crackheads and dope fiends because you come in here lying, rip this woman off out of 5,000, and then you're going to act like she turned you back into a dope fiend. <laughs> I will be fine. I don't see where it says he owes you, man. Yeah, go to page nine. You're going to have to read it. That's fine. I'll give you your key. No problem. I have you and Dave. He called him Dave. Have a great time. I'm very, very upset. On. No, you Dave is Mike not a different and person. Dave? No, 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 no. He called him Dave. But his real name Mike. But his real name We're is Mike, Mike because he All couldn't right. remember. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. But I just accept it. I will have your key, the title. I guess if it's in my stuff, I don't know where it is. I really don't care. Your name's on it. He was talking about a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Then if you go down a little further, it says, I didn't think I had it, but no worries about Nathan. I'm going to pay him off like that. I told him and I will pay you off too. And since you got another man living in with you, I'm done. Okay, I just sir, can't do it. Shows evidence where you said you're going to pay her. You need help with rehab or not? I, I'm three days sober today. I am going back to meetings. Pardon? I am going back to meetings. I when? lost my mother three days before That's Christmas. That's why you should have been then in I lost, all day that day. Then I you lost. you know that provokes stress, and stress is what triggers drug addiction. <laughs> Sir, let my staff know whether you want to go. Until then, you're a dope fiend that don't want to change. Have a good day. Judgment for the plane. I wish you the best. I do to you. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've done.